Yo, what up, hey, how you doing guys? My name is Sanjay. Today we're back with another episode of Monthly Favourites, this time featuring the month of August. This year has absolutely flown by, I know. Monthly Favourites is where I get to showcase some of my recent pickups, some of the books that I've read, the music that I've been vibing to, and the movies that I've seen. Although this month I didn't actually go to see any movies, which is absolutely disgusting, so I should change that. Books that I've read, fashion pickups, music that I've been listening to. Starting with fashion favourites, I have a few vintage pickups. They were from Blitz, which by the way, huge, huge thank you to all of you for watching and supporting my last video that I did with Oliver Proudlock. It was a 70s fashion challenge and a lot of people thought that Ollie outdressed me and you know, I mean, the boy came in strong and if that's your opinion, then fair enough. And if you want to go to like a 70s costume party, then yeah, fantastic. But if not, move aside, let, let, the, let the real deal come through okay no but seriously ollie killed that shit this was one of the shirts that i got from blitz a lot of you guys asked me questions in regards to it when i wore it on instagram when i wore it on my one of my last videos it's super lightweight 15 or 20 pounds so so sick it does have a few buttons missing which is why i'm taking it to the tailor i don't really ever wear the top button so i'm going to take this button and place that here which is where the button is missing you've got this painting almost watercolor like effect on the front and on this sleeve and on this sleeve and in the back you've got this playful take on this pattern I love the colors I love how flowy it is I love how it fits on me it's one of those pieces that actually look a lot more expensive than it is but perhaps that's just me for item number two we have another shirt once again super silky super flowy vintage amazing print and the colors is what spoke to me some of the details obviously so you've got this sort of really wide neck a revere collar this amazing print with the hints of red and gold and very flowy in the body as i've mentioned that already super piratey the only unfortunate thing about this piece is the fact that it is a bit too long for my liking so i'm going to take it to my tailor get the body cropped and then leave the sleeves as it is and that should kind of play along with the proportions of like a crop body longer sleeves and it's going to look absolutely buff again 20 quid absolute bargain in my opinion i was straying away from shirts now because it was getting colder but man the weather's back to being super sunny and super hot so i'm super glad how many times can I say super? So I'm glad that I've copped these two shirts and I'm gonna be kind of wearing them out until the end of summer. And then lastly, we have this high neck sweatshirt. What even is this? Yeah, it is a sweatshirt, but it's not that sweat material. It's more, it's almost like a knitted material. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. All black white zipper down the middle the colors were amazing and that's kind of what i was drawn to at first but then only once i got home i didn't even notice this in store which is crazy did i realize that this has so many moth bites along all the collar it gave me jw anderson vibe which is why i picked it up and again this is very 70s i thought it could be a great layering piece this could be worn like under a nice black jacket or any sort of jacket and you could have the colors just peeking through really really cool piece and then last but certainly not the least for fashion favorites we've got this raf simmons knitter jumper which i've already showcased to some of you guys if you follow me on instagram i went live yesterday which by the way if you wish to follow me on my instagram on my twitter on my snaps it's all in the bottom corner right there s-a-n-g-i-e-v this is from raf simmons for winter 17 such a sick design knitted material super super soft big pocket cropped in the body very elongated shoulder the right sleeve is actually shorter than the left one and the left one is also slightly more baggier i believe there is two versions of this sweatshirt of this knitwear sorry the cropped version but there is one from essence which has a not as cropped version at least that's what it looks like on the model that is wearing it this did retail at 460 pounds which is a pretty penny obviously your boy got the plug so i didn't pay retail for it beautiful beautiful piece man i just think it's so on point the cut is just like oh uh, and crops fashion is definitely on its way back forward slash has been around for quite a while now so yeah man this is definitely a piece that i'm happy to add to my collection and I know that eventually when I will get bored of it, I can A, just let it go for a very good price or B, because it's Raf Simmons to a certain extent, he's one of those designers that has the potential for a piece to hold value and to, if not even boom. Like I'm not saying this has the potential to ever be considered vintage Raf, but 10, 15 years down the line, you don't know. That pretty much concludes all the fashion favorites. Now we're gonna move on to everybody's beloved music favorites, by the way whilst i'm still holding it i'm only showcasing it like this on the hanger because of this video otherwise i would not be hanging this piece up the knit on this is a bit too fine 
for the hangers and it's just going to create indents which is a little tip i guess from me to you for your knitted pieces try not to hang them instead try folding them that will preserve the material the piece and everything else that is that for my fashion favorites moving on to the music favorites these are 10 of the songs that i've been vibing to some of them are old some of them are new let's just party guaranteed if i fuck her she coming if i'm in the room please don't come in i beat the pussy like a knee decline as the voice quick beneath the open pit lazarus made a one take shot by your yeah kick it for a minute then it's straight right back to the s-t-u-d-i-o right don't come chill come up in the spot nigga strike a pose and birthdays had a thursday now we sip champagne just thought i told you pedal or metal i try to slow down but i can't hang fucking your bitches she kissing the dick and i'm still yard boots be parched no you can't check me with boobie my pull out game up the garage Things can't change. So it's all the same time on tape. Put your diss in bag get a phone call. Girl, that you got no rules. I count them. Moving on to Book's favorite. We've got Casanova by Ian Kelly. The best book on the great on the world's sorry greatest lover i love biographies i like mythical people or people of mythical proportions to what they did some of them might be good people some of them might be quite quite negative people for someone's name to have been kept in history as the world's greatest lover is a fascinating topic to me so that is why i read casanova i've seen the movie from heath ledger like a very old one again that whole like 18th is it 18th century? I believe it is 18th century. 18th century Venice. It just looked so sick, man. I love the fashion around that time period. And obviously, as far as biography goes, a lot of historians have their arguments in regards to Casanova as to what is fiction and what is non-fiction. It is an interesting time period, and I think being able to read this book, if you're fascinated within that era, then it can kind of give you a glimpse into how things worked or how people dressed. If you don't know who Casanova is, do yourself a favor, Google him or Google his stories, quite fun. Boy knows how to get into women's panties, so you know, do your thing. That sounded hella rapey, but you know what I meant. Casanova, Ian Kelly, I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't fully finished reading it, so hence why I can't give you like a comprehensive review. And that pretty much is going to conclude this video. I feel like this was very brief. Well, I always say that, and then it turns out to be like a 10 minutes video. It was predominantly just fashion. A lot of the stuff that I have purchased this month weren't necessarily fashion related, but rather tech. And I'm not too sure if you guys are interested in some of the tech stuff, like for example, the new camera that I'm recording on, some of the lights, some of my, new gimbals and all that tech side of things so who knows maybe if more people want to know or wish to know then i'll be sure to let them know but for now let's just keep it fashion based with that being said i'm going to conclude this video right here thank you very much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to do so if you wish to do so that is don't forget to leave a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot if you wish to follow me on my social media it's all in this corner right here s-a-n-g-i-e-v twitter instagram snaps have a beautiful day Take care. I'm so expressive. Peace.